Agricultural engineer now amassed in LGUs. This is the declaration of the ILG in 2008 in support to the implementation of the Philippine Agricultural Engineering Law, Agricultural and Fisheries Modernization Act or AFMA, and Executive Order No. 86 of 1999. This was further strengthened by the Agricultural and Fisheries Mechanization Law or AFMEC Law in 2013 and the Philippine Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering Act of 2016 or the ABI Law. Feeding the fast-growing Philippine population, now at 105 million, and providing them pure water to drink, clean energy, and safe environment to live is a major concern and responsibilities of the local government units of 81 provinces, 145 cities, 1,489 municipalities, and 42,036 barangays nationwide. Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering can help LGUs in achieving these objectives. Section 17 of the Local Government Code mandates all provincial, city, municipal and barangay LGUs to provide basic services and facilities on agriculture, fisheries and infrastructure development, and environmental protection. This includes seedling nurseries, farm produce collection and buying stations, dairy farms and livestock markets, on-site research and extension, communal irrigation, small water impounding, soil conservation and solid waste management projects, which are within the sphere of agricultural and biosystems engineering. However, these interventions are lacking or limited in many of the LGUs. This largely contributes to the low farm productivity and poverty among our 12 million farmers, fishermen, and farm workers, and the reason why many of our youth do not have interest on farming, we should replace our aging farmers now at the average age of 57. Thus, Section 46 of AFMA have mandated all LGUs to strengthen their agricultural engineering groups. Along this, the DBM issued budget circular in 2003 and DILG its memorandum circulars in 2008 and 2012, institutionalizing the practice of agricultural engineering in LGUs. This was further strengthened by Section 29 of AFMEC law, which requires the mandatory creation of agricultural engineering division at the agricultural offices in all first-class to third-class provincial and city LGUs and agricultural engineering section in the municipal LGUs that will plan, design, and supervise the construction, operation and maintenance, and conduct on-site research and extension on irrigation, small water impounding and soil conservation and management, farm machinery, post-harvest facilities, slaughterhouses, farm-to-market roads, and other agri-fisheries infrastructure projects. Also to undertake the registration of agri-fishery machinery and facilities and help enforce agri-fishery engineering standards and regulations and train farmers and fisher folks on the proper operation and maintenance of agri-fishery machinery and other farm facilities which will make them test the certified agri-fishery machinery and facility operators and technicians. The Sangunian of several LGUs have already enacted an ordinance creating the respective agricultural engineering division or section and among them are the province of Palawan, Cebu, and the municipality of Lipmanan. They are now capable to perform their mandated functions one of them is the formulation and implementation of local agri-fisheries mechanization plan which will help increase farm productivity and farmers income. These agricultural engineering services in the LGUs will be further strengthened and expanded by the ABI law to cover animal production systems engineering, fisheries and aquaculture engineering, forest engineering and watershed management 
bioenergy engineering, and bio-waste management. These are outside the functions of the agriculturist offices of the LGUs. Thus, the Abbey Law mandates all LGUs to create their agricultural and biosystems engineer positions. This will complement to the agriculturist, veterinarian, and fishery technologist positions which are regulated professions under PRC and separate offices or departments in the LGUs. Likewise to the environmental management officer and disaster risk management officer and the building official in the issuance of permits for agricultural and biosystems buildings. The creation of agricultural and biosystems engineer as a separate office or department in the LGUs is authorized by Section 76 of the Local Government Code and CSC Memorandum Circular No. 19 of 1992. The Abbey Law restricts that only registered and licensed agricultural and biosystems engineer shall perform the practice of agricultural and biosystems engineering in the country. Violation to this is a ground for administrative and criminal penalties. Towards effective local governance, the institutionalization of agricultural and biosystems engineering in the LGUs is a vital measure that will help LGUs achieve their mandates under the local government code in promoting the general welfare of their people to ensure and support health and safety, balanced ecology, comfort and convenience, economic prosperity, and full employment. Thank you and God bless us all.